right, I've had a couple requests to do a more, um, a little bit more detailed tutorial on how to make my little Ziploc pouches here. I had put a quick, kind of a uh, walkthrough of this on the Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations page on Facebook, and a lot of people liked it, and so I thought I would kind of teach you from my mistakes what to do and what not to do. So this is just a, a baggie that I used, the Ziploc part, and then I have it as a pouch that you can store extra ephemera or stickers or whatever and decorate it if you want. Somebody had mentioned maybe putting a pull tab on one end and then storing things and you could just pull it out and uh, they can be used for a lot of different things, even for gifts or whatever. This one I happen to decorate, but you could also leave them flat. Um, you'll see that there's a difference in size here. This one's about a half an inch taller. So you, it's very flexible as to the depth or how, you know, how long tall it can be. Um, some you can decorate, some you don't have to decorate. It depends on the paper that you choose. So I thought I would just give you a quick rundown as to how I made this. You're gonna first want a baggie um, and you want the Ziploc or the slider kind, okay? Um, so I'm gonna have mine this way because I like it closed this way and I like to move it this way to, um, open. So you don't need the whole bag. We just need about an inch underneath this colored section that we're going to use to attach it to our paper pocket or pouch. So I'm just going to take my one inch guide here and you'll notice that these are kind of curved so it's not real straight. So you know it won't turn out exactly one inch all the way across and that's totally fine. As long as you have, I'm using one inch score tape. That's why I am um, want a, an inch of overhang here. And then this you don't really need. You can move that to the side. So you can see uh, I have about one inch and I had originally tried glue. Glue doesn't stick. Uh, and then I used score tape and I put the score tape on the plastic bag. That was a disaster because this didn't lay that well. So I ended up putting it on the paper and that's what worked the best for me. Um, you need to measure the length of your bag here. And I'm sure they're all off, you know, a little, they probably vary a little bit, but the ones I've been working with are about eight and a fourth long. So to make your pouch then, you're gonna need one piece that's nine and a fourth. So you need it an inch longer and then you need one piece that is the actual eight and a fourth, okay? So you can make it as deep as you want. So I have this one at five and a half and this one at five. Because I'm gonna um, do a pocket, this half inch will be tucked under. So mine's gonna end up being five inches tall, okay? So this is five and a half by nine and a fourth. This is five by eight and a fourth, okay? So you'll need to do some scoring on just one piece and that's on your longer piece. And you're going to uh, score it half on three sides. Okay. Normally when you make a pocket, you would miter the top. We're not gonna do that, at least I'm not. <laughs> I am gonna cut off the bottom at an angle to take off that square. And then you can burnish those score marks. This is gonna be a really fast project, so you can make a whole bunch. Okay. Oh, do I like that? I don't like the way that one looks. Did I? Hmm. Okay. So mine I didn't cut that well because I'm in too big of a hurry. But um, what you're going to want to do next is get your score tape. And I'm using the one inch. And I'm going to place a one inch strip across the top. And I do go over a little bit so that these will fold over nice and stick. So with one inch, I'm going to go to the top. And I want it as close to that top as possible. Okay. 
pretty easy so far. So what we're gonna end up doing is setting this on top, okay? And we'll do a little bit at a time so that it lays pretty even. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on one end and I want it to go just to the pink, that purplish color. Okay. Now I do want, when this opens, I do want to use a piece of packing tape just to kind of lay down, make sure that plastic lays down. So I'm just going to cut off a piece. I'm going to turn it around so I can see it and I want this to lay flat. And I'm just going to place a piece of packing tape on the plastic and it'll go onto the paper. And it doesn't have to go all the way across. Okay. And so now the next part is to put the uh, other piece on top here, like so. And we're almost already done, people. Okay, now before I do that, I do want to put the one inch score tape on the top of this piece. Um, I have a little bit of overhang I might have to fix. Uh, maybe not. Okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take the backing off. Make sure if there's anything hanging over you, kind of roll it over. Okay. Now I am going to put glue on the one half inch pieces here, but I'm not going to put glue at the very, very top. Uh, actually, it wouldn't probably matter because it's not the plastic. I'll just go ahead and put glue on the whole thing. So glue on your half inch pieces. Okay. And then you're going to lay this. I like to do the bottom first. Make sure it's lined up. Okay, I lay it down. See, it's a little bit of a curve. It's not 100% straight. That's just the baggie itself. There's really not a way to get around that that I can think of. And then I'm just going to burnish this so that it's nice and firm together. Okay, so you can decorate it or not. You can put something on there. Uh, I'm going to open it up. And we had put... Um, some tape on one side. Now I want to put a little bit of tape on the other side just to make sure that that little piece of plastic stays down. Again, it doesn't have to be very long. And I'm going to just kind of hold it up so I can see what I'm doing. And I want it to lay flat. I just think that helps give it a little bit more protection. And then there's your pouch. I mean, how easy is that? But I thought, hey, that's pretty handy. And like I said, you can decorate it. And it opens and closes real well. So you can have plain ones. Or you can have decorative ones. And you can tell that this one, again, is about a half inch different. You can put it any height you want. So hopefully that helps you. Um, my, like I said, hopefully you can learn from some of my mistakes, like putting the score tape on the baggie. That was hard for me, but maybe it'll work better for you. So 
Uh, go ahead and make a bunch of pouches. I'm sure that you'll find plenty of uses for them. You can use them as gifts. You could, you know, make it as an envelope for cards, storage. All right, there you go. Enjoy.